What's going on, everybody? It's Patrick Mitchell Outdoors. Come back. We're going to check out the Wagon Dome USB Lantern. What's going on, everybody? How's my outdoor crew doing tonight? I hope it's doing great. This is what I've been waiting on. Um, purchased it week week ago right before I did my lighting segment and I said I had a couple lights I wanted to check out and see how they were stack up and how they look felt and all that good stuff so here's one of them it's the wagon tech dome USB lantern now I'll show you the features of this thing um, it's very it must have a good size battery and let's see I'm gonna look at the box and see if it says 3,000 milliamp lithium polymer battery. So, there's that. So now let's take a look at the specs on that, on the light itself. 220 lumens for six hours is how long it'll last. Um, if you knock it down to 110 lumens, it'll go for 14 hours. Now I'm going to show you a light test here in a little bit. Right now I'm going to show you how you charge this thing. Um, you pull this out. And then I'm going to roll in the little footage of it charging off my brick in the house. Uh, brick house. Huh. Good song. Anyway, um, I like that feature that the cord's always with it. Uh, it is water resistant. So, I mean, if it gets a little wet, it's not going to kill it. Um, right here on the top, as a plug, you can actually get some juice to your cell phone if you need be. I wouldn't use it for that. I would just use it for straight up for a lantern. Now here's what I like the best about this. You've got one hook, like so, or if you really want it, you have two. And as you'll see, as they open on either side, so this way you can loop it into something and it's pretty, pretty well there. Uh, they snap back down it does have two strong magnets, and I know how strong it is because I stuck it on the side of the refrigerator and she sat right there and didn't move. Um, the other thing, the power button is on top. When you press the power button for the first time, you're going to get how much battery you have. Right now it's at 100%. Click it to that again and click it again. You now have 220 lumens for six hours. So they say. We will test it down the road. Hit it again. Let's see, did it work? No, yep, it did. So there's two. There's 110. So you can do 110 lumens for 14 hours. And then it does have a strobe feature. All right. So what I'm going to do here in a minute is cut down, uh, cut off the overhead light, the workbench light. I'll leave the rest of the garage lights on. So you can see exactly how bright this thing is. I'm pretty impressed. I may end up buying a second one just for the dining fly area. Um, I'm still not going to put one of these in the tent. I don't need it. I don't feel like I might end up getting a third. But let's turn off the... Uh, we'll come back and we'll turn off the overhead light. And we'll put this... Now on. we have the overhead light off. So now we're going to turn on the light. Remember this will be maximum 200 lumens. So there's your 200 lumens. And, you know, I'm sure the camera's compensating for, you know, the darkness. But, I mean, it's lighting up everything, you know, on the workbench with no problem whatsoever. There's 100. I'll get it down a little closer so you can see it. We'll go through that again. There's 200. 200 lumens. I mean, that's pretty bright. Under our dining fly of some kind, you know, you can get two of these on either side of what's your prep area or what wash area, whatever. That's pretty good. And then if you need to knock it down to 100 lumens, just, I mean, I still, you know, I know the background lights are on and the camera's compensating for um, the darkness, but that's still, that's not bad at all, I don't think. I think that's pretty bright. I've done it in the dark room. It, you know, lights up pretty good. Let's cut this big bad boy back on. 
but the the construction of it feels really solid um i like how it has its own usb cable now that could probably be a bad thing or a good thing i mean if that thing starts getting weak uh going back in its little housing here or now i have a lot of trouble getting it out of there because it actually snaps in with the back of the cord i guess is what it's doing it may be a magnet in there but i could see where you know over time that might have a problem and uh eventually get to where it frays or something that could be an issue over a lot of uses but we'll see we'll try it out i mean that's the worst that can happen but here's the price point that really threw me into it it was 1895 i think it was 1895 let's look because i did get it off amazon i will leave a link down below for it if you want to get one i so far just looking at it, playing with it um Let's see, there it is. We'll go to the actual ad. Yeah, $18.95. With Amazon Prime, free shipping. You know, can't beat that. I've got another one still that I want to try on there. But uh, right now, I, I really like this. Like I said, you know, with the magnetic base, that's all of them. <laughs> I, I don't have anything real. I can stick on the, well, I guess that license plate's not made out of metal either. Crap. Trust me. It's stuck to the side of the refrigerator just like that with no problem. So anyway, um, we're going to give it a whirl. We're going to take it camping. We're going to put it up in our dining fly. We may, I don't know, I may try it in the tent. I, I think uh, in the tent, you wouldn't want more than 100 lumens busted on you. Parade. That's pretty bright. I mean, I'm going to shine it right at the camera. That's 100 lumens. Uh, there is 12 LEDs according to their little description box thingy. So there it is. Wagon Tech. That's a USB dome light. I like it. I like the construction. It feels solid. Doesn't feel like cheap. I don't know that that, if that may. No, it's probably plastic. I don't know. Say. It's a very good plastic. It's not nothing cheap. I'm telling you. All right, guys, that's where I'm going to stop right now. I uh, don't want to make it too long, but uh, I wanted to show you this. I'm kind of kind of giddy about it. Here's the packaging that came in. Uh, you know, clamshell type deal. Uh, let's try to see. 3.7 volts, 3,000 milliamp hour. Uh, lithium polymer LED count 12 weighs 0.4 pounds. So remember that it is pretty heavy. I mean, I was quite shocked at the of the heft, but I think it's pretty solid light. I think it's going to work out great in our camping gear, in our car camping gear especially. All right, guys. Well, that's it for now. Be prepared, and there's more to come. Like I said, I'm getting on top of my car camping game. I know it's fixing to get in the middle of summer. Um, we're talking 87 degrees this, by the time you see this past Saturday. So we'll see what happens. All right, guys, that's it for now. Make sure you check out all the links down below and be prepared.